listeners to Premier Christian Radio will know by now that Peter Carriage, our long-term CEO here at Premier, he went home to be with Jesus just last Saturday, the 8th of June. Our team here at Premier were prepared for his passing. He battled leukemia bravely, and he knew that his time here on earth was nearing end. He even wrote a beautiful message to all of our team. But nevertheless, there's a great sense of loss and grief. And surely that's because Peter lived in a way that created a legacy, and now he leaves a beautiful, godly legacy behind. Legacy is a word that we perhaps relate to inheritance, a bequest, something left to somebody in a will. And obviously, that's a correct use of the word. But the word legacy has much broader meaning because, obviously, it's not just about money. We leave a legacy by the impact, the impression that we make. In his letter to a young pastor called Timothy, the Apostle Paul told him to live his life as an example. The Greek word used there is tupos. It's a stamp, an impression in wax. Leave a lingering mark. And here's the truth. We all leave a legacy whether we intentionally choose to or not. Some lives leave a mark. Others leave a stain. Legacy is not just about what we leave when we're older or when we die. And it's not just about a life. It can be a moment, an action, a word spoken that leaves a lingering mark. J.R. Miller once wrote, There have been meetings of only a moment which have left impressions for life, for eternity. No one can understand the mysterious thing we call influence, yet every one of us continually exerts influence, either to heal, to bless, to leave marks of beauty, or to wound, to hurt, to poison, to stain other lives. Perhaps we all should think about what people might say at our funeral. Wouldn't it be wonderful if something like this was said? He or she was a good person, full of the Holy Spirit and strong in faith. In the Bible, there's a character called Barnabas who became a partner with the Apostle Paul in ministry. And he was described as exactly that, a good man, full of the spirit, strong in faith. And so tonight, in the shadow of the passing of our dear Peter Carriage, we can say this, he was a good man. He'd left a great legacy. What about us? Mm -hmm. 